All right, folks, welcome to the channel. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We're going to unpackage a good one for you today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and glasses because there's going to be no sugarcoating it here. No telling you how to buy houses in the biggest bubble ever produced in history and then come back and try to tell you now there's a housing crash. Can you believe the stuff that we're seeing out there online now? I'm so careful not to be cynical or judgmental of others, but it's hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes when I see other real estate professionals. Every single real estate professional now is online trying to talk about the crash. After a year ago, they were telling you to buy. My gosh, I'm going to bite my tongue right now and move this video forward as we unpackage another barn burner because the data won't save you. Throw the playbook out the window in this real estate bubble, the biggest bubble ever produced in world history to never seen before highs in record speed. Somehow that was supposed to sustain itself. It was a new utopia we lived in. Free money, stay at home, don't go to work environment. Are you kidding me? It's all falling on its face. Those narratives were built on quicksand. I knew, didn't, you knew it, you knew it, you knew it, you knew it didn't pass a smell test. We all did here at the channel. If you're new, Subscribe. Subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time in history. You get forward thinking, critical thinking, centered and surrounded with like-minded people where iron will continue to sharpen iron. We're monitoring the health of the U.S. housing market because everything in fact hinges on the U.S. housing market. If we lose the U.S. housing market, I shouldn't say if, when we lose the U.S. housing market, we will in fact lose everything. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Booms, and bust in the markets. So today is what, what we're gonna do is we're forward thinking, critical thinking, not relying on data to tell us what's happening. We're gonna rely on the psychology of people, the psychology of sales. As a trained sales guy, I'm gonna unpackage some stuff, hopefully it'll bring just a little bit of clarity of what you can expect next. So one of the things that we know right now, over 10 million people piled in to the biggest real estate bubble ever recorded in history in its reverse course. Their homes are no longer worth what they paid for them. They no longer own their homes. Their homes now, in fact, own them. And because these, these homeowners or home buyers or mortgage buyers or debtors, I mean, you can't take your pick, didn't check the property's rent range. They just, oh, how much do I qualify for? Okay, show me properties for this price. Dumb, 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 dumb. Always check a property's rent range. You want to know what your property's rent range is. Nobody checks that. That way, if something ever happened to you, like what we're going through now, you're like, hey, don't worry, honey. If anything goes sideways, we can always put a renter in there. They can make our payment. We don't have to lose the home, which is the way they should have been thinking from day one. But millions of people didn't do that. So guess what's going to happen now? Millions of people, these 10 million people that piled into the biggest housing bubble ever produced in world history, qualified for lending. Minimum amounts down payments bigger than the property's rent range, but strike three. They qualified based on dual income. Most of these properties had to require at least dual income to qualify. And guess what's happening right now? As, as the government wants to curb inflation and they think by laying, getting people laid off, it'll in, decrease demand for goods and services and we can bring costs down with inflation. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work. We're gonna be stuck with Job losses and inflation probably stuck on high. We're not going to get back to pre-pandemic inflation numbers. I just don't think it's going to happen. Separate video. But what we will see is people now going to their banks. And this has happened in the 08 era. People were trying to apply and they were encouraged to apply for a loan modification. Don't worry, you can modify your loan. Do you have a hardship? Did your spouse lose their job? All you have to do is give us a letter saying, c communicating your hardship to us and we'll put you into a new trial payment, a reduced payment. We'll make sure you don't lose your home. We'll just tack the difference on the back of your loan. It's not, there's no, there's no mortgage forgiveness coming. A loan mod is when you can prove a hardship, like my wife or husband lost their job, we have reduced income, we need to adjust our payment to meet our current income, and then when we get back on track, we can resume normal payments. Any short payments that we made will get tacked on to the back of our loan. That's what a loan modification is. And the Obama back loan mod was a big push in 2008. It didn't work. It didn't save it. A foreclosure crisis was delivered. In fact, there was predatory programs out there where people are saying, if you, if you need help with a loan mod, call us. And then they'd tell people, 
Don't make your payment to the bank. You send it to us. Just send that payment on into us. We'll handle everything. And they weren't. They were taking the money and the house was going into foreclosure anyway. And so that's what's right around the corner right now. But here's the bigger elephant in the room. Don't worry. It gets better or worse, depending on how you're looking at it. Insanity, the stuff that we continue to unpackage. You can only apply for a hardship if you have reduced income. If you were, if you have no income, you're not going to qualify. Your hardship won't qualify. You have to show the ability to make a payment. And if your if your household debt in to ratio your debt to income ratio doesn't allow you to even make a, any kind of payment to that house, which is what's going to happen to a lot of people. Even if one person left their job, inflation after they try to feed themselves and put gas in the car and go to work with the one of the jobs that are still left. There's no money left. So the banks are gonna say, I'm so sorry. We can't approve you for a loan modification at this time. You don't qualify. You have no money left over to make any payment. You gotta show maybe a slight reduction, a slight hardship, any heavy hardship. You are done, 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 done. And what's the bigger, bigger challenge with this, you ask? I'm about to tell you that too. Whew, insanity. The house is no longer worth what you paid for it, you're upside down in the asset. Can't Otherwise, the banks will say, hey, no problem. Let's just get you to market. We'll have Scott Walters show up over to the house and we'll do a market evaluation, get you on the market and get you sold. But we need somewhere to live. Where are we supposed? Well, that's not our problem. Our problem is this loan you're on the hook for. This is what's about to play out. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? As we're forward thinking, critical thinking. Throw the playbook out the window. The data will not save you forward thinking, critical thinking. You see, if you halfway expect what's about to come, you'll be less paralyzed by it as it plays out, able to operate within it more efficiently and make wise, wise decisions. I know there's a lot of wise people, a lot smarter than me. I know there's a lot of very brilliant people even out there with channels right now. Here's the challenge, and I'm seeing a lot of them, and I know you are too, and I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus as much as I'd love to. I do my best not to be cynical or judgmental. It is hard sometimes because I'm seeing some people that are very, very genius level IQs. But you see, those are the people, I've always said, I've never seen anybody too dumb to become a success. But I've seen some people that were too smart for their own good. The higher you grow, the bigger you fall. A lot of people based their cost of living on euphoria income and clicks and views, and now it's reverse course. Big big, big epic fails right around the corner. You mark my words. You mark my words. It's better to be somewhere in the middle. You've always heard me say, don't let your highs get too high, your lows get too low. That way, you say, stay somewhere in the middle. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history has in fact reversed course. A lot of people are losing their jobs right now. You'll probably see loan modification programs, hardships being pushed out there now in narratives to try to get people to apply for a loan mod due to a hardship. Unfortunately, there'll be predatory programs out there trying to get those people's money as they scramble. To, it's very it's very sad because people are going to prey on the people just polarized by trying to save the house. Why? Because they put so much pressure to get the house in the first place. The last thing they want to do is let it go. Acceptance will always be the answer to all our problems. A lot of times, it's in your best bet just to let the thing go. As we're forward thinking, critical thinking, acknowledging the elephant in the room. It's happened before. It's happening again. But this time, in fact, a bigger bubble is, in fact, providing bigger blowback. I'm going to continue to get in front of this and keep you guys in front of it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's, in fact, what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy it. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to help you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. If you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.